hey guys welcome to another video of node red tutorials so in this tutorial i am going to explain you about the http request so in the previous video i explained you about the http endpoints if you haven't checked that video please go and check this link will be in the description so without wasting time let's get started so in the first flow i'm trying to get the get request okay basically what i'm doing is i'm calling this url that's it that is http localhost 1880 hello so what happened is like uh, in this hello i have set the html content if you can see here this is the html content which i'm trying to fetch okay the end point is slash hello okay let me go here and trigger this so whenever i trigger this node so it will go and hit that url or end point and give me the result so coming to the second flow here i am trying to set the url in this node okay and the same url will be fetched from here and set it in http request okay so here you can see i am setting the url message dot url and the same end point which i used for the previous flow and that will be consumed here in this url end point and this is a get method so let me try to trigger this when you trigger this the same content which i set for the hello end point that will be fetched and displayed here coming to that our flow so in this you uh, flow i am trying to you uh, set the url of a request using a template okay so what i'm doing is i am just passing the hello endpoint in the timestamp as message dot payload okay whenever i pass that here in the http request node that payload the data what i'm sending will be set here dynamically whatever you are sending from the timestamp or inject node will be set here okay and let me trigger this so you can see that that api has been successfully hit and i am getting the output so coming to the next flow in this flow i am trying to set the query parameter here okay and pass it to the http request so as you can see in the timestamp i am passing message dot payload name sandy okay this is the name key is the key which we are passing there okay so this is a function node where i am trying to fetch that uh, name what i am passing and appending to message dot query string and returning the message so in the http request you can see that query string where we are mapping that data so let me trigger this so you can see that output okay so in this flow i am trying to fetch the or get the json response so as you can see this is the end point where we have set that json body 
okay whenever i try to hit this api or end point i will get this an output so let me trigger this once i trigger i'll get the json output so in this flow i am trying to set the header okay and displaying the output okay so what i'm trying to do is i'm setting the header dot user agent to node red okay so what happened is like whenever i try to trigger this so that node red will be append to the header and display the output so let me trigger this you can see that the header part the user agent and what i am setting is that is node red is being displayed okay so this is the last flow here i am trying to respond with the result of an http request here what i am trying to do is this is an http endpoint i am creating with the name hello proxy okay and this is the http request i have taken the hello endpoint which i already used previously and using the clear headers so whatever the default headers is there i am trying to clear it and getting a response so when i trigger this so i'll get the hello world so what is actually happening with this hello proxy i'm hitting this endpoint and getting the response i hope you guys understood the flow so this was just a sample flow which i tried to explain you guys so if you have any queries please comment down below so i'll be attaching this code in the description please go and download the code and you can practice in your local and do like this video and uh, do comment if you haven't subscribed please subscribe thank you so much